What's up, Kerbal Knots? This is Noel on PC. Today we're playing some KSP, and we are going to finish up the solar arrays on our new International Space Station. So what I've got here is a Soyuz, a Soyuz-like craft um, with three new crew members. Uh, they've, we've currently got a four-man crew, uh, three lessers and a commander. We're going to take the three lessers and put in these new three lessers. Uh, and the last solar array, I thought I'd make this like a dual nature, so I did a solar array launch, then brought the Soyuz up. Uh, I left the solar array sort of in a near orbit with the ISS, sort of docked them, and now I'm going to use the Soyuz to actually put, well, hopefully I'm going to use the Soyuz to put the last solar array in, dock the Soyuz, and then we're going to do the quick crew exchange. That's the plan, anyways. Whether or not that actually happens is a different story. Let's see if we can zoom the view out and get a look at the ISS. Should be somewhere out here. Jesus. So yeah, we've got one last spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is really difficult. <laughs> okay, we're going to let it come to us. We've got the one last solar array to put down right there on the left. The Soyuz will dock somewhere at the back there. We'll do our crew transfer and pretty much immediately just send it home. This project came along really nicely. Uh, something that I'm concerned with, of course, is the frame rate. <laughs> I'm sure you can tell. We're getting like, f I'm getting six to seven frames a second right now. And definitely not anything to do with my PC. It's just that this game isn't super optimized yet. We've got like probably 3,000 pieces here. Um, and it was put together in like 10, Jesus. It was put together in like 10 different crafts. So that might have something to do with it too. What I'm going to try is to, um, when this thing's done, I'm going to take the save file, I'm going to find the ISS craft, and I'm going to try copy and pasting it into its own actual save file as a craft, and then I'm going to load it into the editor, somehow drop it into space, use the, the file editor thing to just put it in orbit, and then see if the frame rate's better. If it's still the six or seven frames a second, I'll just scrap it, but if it all of a sudden magically gets better rates, then we'll delete this one and keep the other one. So that's... That's the game plan for the uh, project Salvage Our Frames. So we're coming in a little low, which is okay. It's not awful, but I'd rather be a little higher. Let's begin our shedding of speed. Pretty good start. Just gonna do some fast forward, get in a little closer. I actually wanna just, I'm gonna drift in, I think, behind it and then come up and over the top. close pass. This is probably not something that the real space agencies would do. Passing by at like 20 kilometers an hour. What an awesome view. What a wicked view. If you're watching on mobile, I'm sorry. We're getting into the sort of dark side here and there's not a lot I can do about it because <clears throat> it's going to take so long to get in position. If I did a fast forward to get around the other side of the Earth, we'd be like miles away again. So we'd be basically starting from scratch. Two meters per second. One meters per second. 0.5. Oh, we're in a zero hold. Okay, I'm going to do a quick save. There we go. Wow, that took a long time. <laughs> it's like the frames are getting worse. Whenever that quick save is done, holy crap. Still quick saving. Still quick. Gee, wow. All right, we're going to try. 
So we are moving a little bit in relation to it. Go back to one speed, and I'm just going to back up just a titch. Psh, psh, psh. Probably good enough. Let's see. Nope, still moving towards it. So I'm just going to back up a little more. There, I'd rather be moving backwards and away rather than up and towards it for obvious reasons. Okay, so we got to go right. Nope, other way. And down. There we go. That should keep us away. Yeah, good enough. I think. No, nope, we're moving way too fast. Move back a bit. There we go. 0, 0 0.0 again. Okay, much better. Much better. Much better. What I'm trying to do is just get us back into the light. That's it. I'm not too worried about staying underneath it or staying in front of it or behind it. That was odd. That was really, really odd. Oh. That is so weird. <laughs> okay, there we go. Beauty. Beauty, just in time. We're literally accelerating away from it. That is so weird. Even though we, we stopped sort of in a perfect hold, all of a sudden we were moving away from it. That's confusing. It's probably one of those physics breaking sort of bugs. Okay, why don't we try? Nope, other way. We're just going to sort of make ourselves in the right angle of attack. And we're just going to sort of jockey up there. And if everything goes right, we're going to put that solar panel right there. If everything goes right. <laughs> right. Right. God damn it. I always accidentally leave SAS on, and then the thing slowly stops the rotation and robs my time. That's getting pretty close to true. A few more degrees. It's probably a good start. Do a little fast forward just to stop it in place. A little cheat. A little fast forward cheat. Okay, so we got to go up. 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 Okay, that's probably enough thrust to be going straight up. Looks like I rotated a little too far. I'll probably have to fix that in a mo. I could be making, you know, adjustments to start drifting left and stuff. I really just don't like to do that. You know, it's better, better safe than sorry. You want to take your movements and make them really steady and even. Let's see how this turns out. Still going up. We're just going to shed some of that vertical speed, turn it into lateral. Looks like that just about did it. Yeah, that's pretty good. We'll need a little less vert. I should just about do it. I think we're actually descending a little bit now. Got some shadows coming across the solar panel, showing basically exactly what the craft looks like. That's pretty cool. One of those things that they wouldn't have to do, but they did, and it's awesome. Nope. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. That solar array isn't a fixed super tight, so it kind of wobbles out there. Frames are just killing me.
doing really good on mono propellant still. This is only using one unit of thrust on all the various ports. We did not use the super ports. All right, we're gonna pitch forward just a little bit. Gonna continue trying to strafe left. frames are so low that whenever I'm trying to watch that yellow dot on the compass, I'm having a lot of difficulties telling where it's going. There we go, because it takes so long to sort of amp up and actually start moving. Man, these frames. These frames, do. Okay, so we're going to select the port to get a new... There we go. Okay, actually, we're, we're in a better line to hit that now. back off some of the speed and try and push the craft to the left. Trying to strafe left. At some point we are going to have to make ourselves vert. Basically, we're waiting for that pink circle to come in line with our nose, which we should be driving by here, shouldn't we? Oh, not toggle torque. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing up there? All right. Right. I had to put that on in order to actually do this. So that thing will just keep strafing left. That little nose cone we just released will probably go off that way. <laughs> it does look like it's going right at that port. <laughs> starting to line up. <laughs> That's about right. So we're going to shed off this lateral speed. Boink. There we go. Okay, so now I think we could probably drop the nose. Let's do a quick save. One of these two hour long quick saves. And I'm going to drop the nose. So we're going to stand this thing up, then we're going to back upwards a little bit, start moving over there, and hopefully just drop it right in place. Easy peasy. coffee for like an hour and now it's ice cold. Watch the first comment be, some people pay for cold coffee. First. So we're just going to get this thing vert. We'll start with making this thing vert and then we'll try and get it sort of ready to mount and then we'll walk over there. This is kind of the nerve-wracking bit. It's easy to get these crafts to these things. It's really difficult to uh, to actually make these micro these micro movements to get the thing slowly in line. You know, that's that's the tricky part. Okay, so we are vert. We are vert. We are vert. Vertical. Like I said, we're going to back up a little bit. Go. 
good enough, I guess. Maybe? Let's see. Which way are we going? Yeah, not, not bad. Not bad. We're still keeping sort of a nice true line here, which is fantastic. We are walking a little bit to the left. So let's see, which button is it? Oh, I found the right one. That never happens. Blasts here get up to three or four meters a second. Try a little fast forward. That's pretty good, actually. actually. <clears throat> just going to push forward just a little bit, try to start a bit of a descent. forward to actually see where I'm going. Okay, we're going kind of the wrong way. Things are looking good, actually. Things are looking very good. Probably should have put those solar panels down. Let's see, can I do that? Come on. Come on. Quit being a little bitch. Quit it. I don't like the um where you right click and then all of a sudden can I can I make it do it again? Is it a double click? See this, where you've got a right click and all of a sudden you've got the free look. I fucking hate that. I wish they hadn't have done that. If I want to move the view around, I'll hold right click. Oh, whew. Thought we borked it. Okay, we are going away from the target. Man, this is the finicky part I just. there. We're almost there. Little dots are lining up nicely. saw it there for a second. 
There it is. Okay, so we got to bring that up. Nope. Nope. Yep. Nope. All right, we should be going at that thing at one meter per second. Yes, we are. All right. Beauty. We got way off target. Yep, way, way, way off target. I'm gonna push it back around. it just a hair at some point. Nope, not even the right way. All right, that looks pretty true. How are we doing here? Things are coming along nicely. This fucking compass ball is killing me, though. I can't see past it. to go. All right, moment of truth. The magnetics should do the rest of the work. All we have to do is just make sure the thing's actually like lined up nicely. It actually looks really nicely lined up. I wish I could see the bottom of this, though. Having to back the view so far out, it's kind of detrimental to seeing what we're doing. Should be kicking in any second. Turned off SAS RCS. There's the magnetics, and it looks like the thing is pretty flat. the view down anymore, but it looks really flat. No, it isn't. Good thing I noticed. Okay, that looks pretty flat right there. That's better. Oh, I think we just connected. Oh, thank God. Thank Jeebus. Okay, we gotta do a little fast forward to make everything settle. There we go, you can see it snap into position. Okay, so. So. We can pop these guys back up. Popping them back up at a whopping nine frames per second. Making each one of these right clicks Painfully, painfully slow and tedious. You. All right. So the solar array, I believe, is finished. Looks pretty finished. Providing these solar arrays don't explode when they touch each other. <coughs> Okay, so that looks great. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, shit. That array we just put in is backwards. Oh, cocksucker. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I just don't have, I don't, I don't have the energy or the patience to want to fix that. I don't. Like, I will at some point. It's just definitely not. Not right now. Not on video, too. That's the story of my fucking life right there. 
So next time we bring something up, one of those better control modules like we used to put in the last pieces, we will uh, we'll fix that. But for the time being, there's no way I'm going to make you sit through that. It's going to take me like at least half an hour. So we're going to put the Soyuz capsule probably right on the end there. I think that's where the actual Soyuz's go, is underneath here and at the back of the Z Zedraya, or whatever it's called. Target this thing early. Yes, we can. Beauty. Okay, got our target. We are going to fly by that guy there. Beauty. So if that's up, then we're looking. Our orientation is like this. Quit it. Quit it. Curve it around. How much RCS do we have left? 270 units. We are doing really good. We obviously brought way too much RCS. Okay, that's pretty good there. level. We'll stop it. There we go. And all we have to do really is just drop down and forward a bit. All right. Beauty. Okay. So down. We want to drop down pretty hard. So I want to drop down like right in front of it, hopefully. That's... That's the dream, anyways. Keeping the dream alive. Keeping the dream alive. I'm shocked that we've managed to actually do most of this in the sun. That never happens. Oh, I have no, uh... I have no SAS on. That is not a good problem to have. That means a lot of that down was actually down into the... right a little bit. See, are we still moving away? We are still moving away quite a bit. And are we still moving left? Yes, we are still moving left a little bit. This is a heavy craft. And only having one unit of thrust to do some of the lateral move is uh, just not enough. We probably needed a little more RCS. But having too much RCS is a bad is sometimes a bad problem to have. If the thing's too tweaky, it, it makes a lot of this micro work very difficult. Very, very difficult. All right, we gotta shed some vert. Oh, 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 whoa. Shedding that vert. Let's get the nose up a little bit. No, nope, wrong way. Put 
pushing forward and trying to shed all this vert height. Coming in at 0.2 meters a second. This is actually a really nice entry. Yes, this is very clean. This is very, very clean. Do a little fast forward. Wow, yeah, that's a clean, clean entry. That is Oshi clean. All right, there we go. We are docked. Beautiful. Beautiful. Now, unfortunately, this video took way too long, so we're not going to be able to do a crew exchange today, but it's the first thing we're going to do on the next mission. What is either going to happen is either I'm going to leave this Soyuz here and bring up like a virtually empty Soyuz to bring back the old crew and leave this one here because we do need some kind of a, a Soyuz related escape pod um, for the people that are, you know, on the station. I think at any given time there's like a number of Soyuzes attached uh, because they are the main escape route. If something, if a meteorite happened to just come out of nowhere or a piece of space debris. And wow, I am trying so hard to close these things, but it just doesn't, it doesn't want to register any of my clicks. Click, 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 click. I'm sure you can hear that. I'm clicking like crazy and the game's just going, nope, nope, click it again, nope, click it again, nope, there we go. So yeah, we're going to call it here. We're gonna pick it up right where we left off next time. But as I said, I'm probably gonna bring up another Soyuz and use that as the return and leave one of these things attached. So guys, I hope you liked the video, hope you share, hope you comment, hope you do all those things you guys do. And until next time, guys, peace, love, cheers.